Hello, 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 my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. How are you all doing? God is so good. God is so good. Can I tell you, I've just been on a spiritual high. I mean, since the beginning of April. And I'm wondering, what is causing this? I'm asking God, like, what did I do differently? I'm feeling so much of the Holy Ghost, like, tangibly. I'm feeling him so strongly. And I realized the only thing that I've done differently since the beginning of April was my my eating patterns, my eating habits. I went on this one meal a day challenge with my sister for weight loss because she wants to lose weight. And, you know, I just been here to encourage her and I'm trying to help her out. So I was doing that. And can I tell you, I have never experienced the Lord like this ever. I, I, I was doing that on top of my normal you know fasting weekly i i can't explain to you like i've just been feeling the heart of god i've been feeling how he's feeling you know because we're in the last days we're in the end times and i mean he just been opening my eyes to the hour that we're in like we literally have no more time this is it in my heart it just hurts so bad for the lost souls for the people who are dying going to hell that did not accept Christ. When I think about my cousin and when I think about everything, it just it's just a pain and it's just a feeling that every time I think about it, it it it's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be there. Thank you all for your for your prayers. God is good. God is so good. God is so good. This video he put on my heart to share um about my experience with head covering and how he brought me into it and you know, just how I feel about it, the benefits of it for me personally, since I've been head covering, because I get so many questions on why I cover my head. Why do you cover your head? Why do you cover your head? Why do you cover your head? And I'm going to share it with you now. So I first began to head cover in 2017, in March, I believe. And it was, it was so sovereign. God is so good. So one day I covered my head and I went to class. I, I wasn't planning to cover my head. I wasn't thinking any, I just did it just because. And when I tell you I don't cover my head, like before that, I was not covering my head. I was not covering my head at all. So this was new to me. I just did it one day without even thinking. Just I just covered my head and went to class. And when I came home, it's either that same day or the next day, I saw on YouTube about a woman who had covered and she was talking about how God wants us to head cover. So I'm like, hmm, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that everything happens for a reason. God allows things to happen for a reason. I believe that he has a purpose in everything that he does. Nothing just happens just because, you know? So I was thinking like, wow, I covered my head out of nowhere and I don't even do this. And then I come home and I see a video about God wanting his daughters to head cover. So I felt like I felt convicted. It wasn't a strong conviction, but I just felt like God was leading me into that direction that this is something that God wanted me to do. So I was praying about it. I prayed, I prayed, and I did, I did begin covering my head, but it wasn't full time. Like I was going back and forth for a while. I would wear like my hair in a low bun and I like wear it up sometimes, but I wasn't head covering full time. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to cover full time. I know that in, in 1 Corinthians 11, verse five, it says, but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. So I understood that when you're praying, when a woman is praying or prophesying, she's supposed to have her head covered. Like there's supposed to be a literal veil that covers your head. So I was like, okay, Lord, I understand that. But, you know, what about any other time? And at this, there was one particular day that my head was covered. I was wearing it full time at that particular, in that season, I was wearing it full time. And then I was just going to go back to wearing my hair in a bun. But I was praying, I asked the Lord if he wanted me to do that. 
to let me know if he wants me to cover full time. So that day, that day, that night that I went to sleep, I had a, I had a vision. And in this vision, it was like I was in my house and I was praying, warring against the enemy. And I felt the presence of demons like around me. And I knew that they were coming to attack me. I just felt like they were coming to attack me. And I'm scrambling and I'm looking for something to put on my head. So I got like this, this veil, this head covering, and I put it on my head. And I, and I woke up and I came out of it. So that was my answer right there. That was my answer. And from that point on, I have been covering my head since then. I can't remember when that was. I don't remember. I, don't, I really don't remember when it was. But I've been covering my head full time, full time from that point on. And I've, it's such a difference for all of you ladies who do full, um, head cover full time. You know exactly what I'm talking about when I say it's like a spiritual protection. It's like an added layer of protection. Like God is always protecting us, but it's just different. It's so, I can't explain it. Like I really don't know how to put it into words. It's a spiritual thing. You, you got to experience it to really know what I'm talking about. I just feel so, so safe. Like I really, I feel covered. I feel, I, I just, I don't know. I just feel so safe. I really do. And I do believe that demons can recognize that because I do believe that they see it as a, a, a symbol of submission to God's ways and it even says in 1 Corinthians 11 that for this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. So it's, it is a symbol of authority. It really is. And I do believe that it also um, covers like our beauty because a woman is more attractive with her hair out, when her hair is out. When I have it covered, I don't attract that much attention. I really don't. And I believe it's the same way in the spiritual realm with these demons, these lust demons. The, the marine kingdom is assigned to my life. So it always there's always these demons of perversion, of lust, and these sex demons, incubus, succubus spirits that are just waiting. You know, they're always monitoring, just waiting, you know. And like in the beginning, in Genesis, in Genesis, it was chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6, verse 2. The sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. So you see the spiritual husband right there. They took them wives. They made them their wife because they were beautiful. They were attractive. And I do believe that when we are covering our head as women of God, we're concealing that beauty in the spiritual realm from these demonic forces who are looking to sleep with us. And I, I don't I don't really get attacked much. Like when I wasn't covering my head, I would get frequent attacks from these sex demons. But with my head covering, I don't I don't come under attack unless I'm, you know, fasting and praying and God allows it to happen. So I do believe that that is a reason why God does want us to head cover. That's basically how he got me to start wearing it and from then it's just it's just been here I am and <laughs> another reason why I am wearing it is because I made the personal choice this is me now me making that personal choice to only the only man to see my hair is going to be my husband and <laughs> I know that sounds like all right you're dragging it but seriously let me let me let me talk to you about it. So I fe I started feeling this way when I was I was talking to a brother in Christ on FaceTime, and he asked me to to see my hair. <laughs> you know, cool brother, nothing suspicious, nothing going on there. It's just he just asked me to see my hair, and when I tell you, it felt as if he was asking me to take my clothes off. I felt so uncomfortable and it was nothing wrong with what he said. Hey, can I see your hair? Like there's nothing wrong with saying that, but I felt so uncomfortable. It's like he was asking me to strip naked. Like I'm not even exaggerating. That's how uncomfortable I felt. 
I didn't want to show him my hair. I really did not want to. So I told him, um, nope. <laughs> I told him, no, you don't need to see it. So, I mean, so that was, I was kind of feeling weird. I'm like, Lord, why do I feel like that? Why do I feel like I don't want to show a man my hair unless he's my husband? I just feel like it's so, it, I just feel like it's an intimate thing. I just feel like the only man who should see it is a man who's intimate with me, you know, in that way, because it does make me more attractive and I don't want to be more attractive to, you know, a man that's not my husband. You know, I don't want men to look at me and, you know, their face light up because of my hair. Your hair makes you, makes a woman much more beautiful. And if I were to take my hair out, I don't know how many comments I'd have on my hair and I don't I don't want that attention I really don't I really don't especially not from a man that's not my husband so I was feeling I was feeling very uncomfortable I was feeling very uncomfortable I did not want to show any man my hair that is not my husband so I made that personal choice to keep my head covered to not show it to any man except for my husband when I do get married. And yeah, that's 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 that. <laughs> Some of y'all been probably thinking like, all right, you're dragging it. I probably am, listen, but I can't help the way I'm feeling. I don't know why I feel like that. I don't know why I feel like that. I really don't. I don't know if God put it in my heart to just, I don't know, just keep it something personal for my husband. I really don't know, but I'm not, I'm not showing anybody my hair. I'm not, I'm not. That's pretty much all. That's pretty much how it happened. It wasn't really like anything big. He just led me into it, gave me the confirmations, the answers that I was looking for. And I've been head covering ever since. And I will not stop because it feels so good. It feels so good. I find it easier too, like, when you're on the road and you're witnessing to someone and you know you're praying to someone because i'm always i am always praying i'm always praying i meet people on the road and i'm witnessing to them i pray for them and i don't have to worry about trying to cover my head or wait and stop and cover my head and look crazy out in public with something just hanging over my head when i already have my head covering on I just feel like it's so much easier when you're ready, you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, you're already prepared. You're already prepared and God can use you at any time because you're suited up, you have everything that you need. You don't need to scramble and search, you know, for something to put over your head when you already have your head covering on. So I just, it's so easy and, <laughs> and the benefit of it is you're protecting your hair. You're protecting your hair. Oh my god, my hair is flourishing under this. Can I tell you? My hair is flourishing. My hair is growing so much. Is is there's always so much benefits to obeying God. I mean, you reap the spiritual and the natural. You reap the the protection that comes with it spiritually and naturally your hair is flourishing. Your hair is growing because it's a low manipulation style. I mean, it's it's low manipulative. You don't have to touch it. You don't have to keep doing it every day. And, you know, you just keep it moist, keep it healthy, and put your head covering on. So, I like it. I love it. I love it. I really do. But it's it's for spiritual purposes only. I don't do it because I'm trying to take care of my hair or trying to help my hair. No, that's not that's not really my purpose at all. But yet, I reap those benefits. So it's it's solely it's mainly spiritual, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all. That's how he got me into doing it, and that's just been my journey. It's really simple, nothing much to it. But pray on it, pray on it, pray on it. Ask the Lord if He's working on your heart. Just ask Him if this is what He wants you to do. Just ask Him, and He'll show you. He'll tell you what He wants for you. God is so good. God is so good, but that's that's all. I do have two more videos that the Lord wants me to make. And I'm telling you, <laughs> some of y'all females ain't gonna like me. The first one is regarding um, the apparel of women of God and exposing Jezebel. 
And the second one, I'm going to share with you how I personally fast, what I do during my fast, how I pray, what what time I pray during the day, how many times I pray during the day, and things of that nature. And so, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be sharing very, very soon, God's willing. But that's all. God bless you all. I love you all so, so, so much. All right. God bless.